Hey everybody, it is Rich and welcome to your Wednesday video for your daily energize. In light of our theme for the week, love, I decided to wear my love shirt. So, let's continue the conversation of love. We started on uh, Monday with the quote that everything that occurs in your life is an opportunity to experience love. Yesterday in the audio I talked about the difference between love and fear. What I said was that essentially, you're either coming from a place of love, or you're coming from a place of fear. So I want to begin here, we'll do a short video today. I want you to think about that for a second. You know, it's real cool and sexy to feel and say that you're just a loving person, that everything you do is coming from a place of love. But the vast majority of people are coming from fear. So think about yourself and your life for a moment. Are you coming truly from a place of love in everything that you do? Or is fear maybe dominating uh, the way of your being? Here's my belief. We're all born as loving creatures. And to prove that, just go look at any little newborn baby. They are just bundles of joy, pure love, right? And then what happens? As we grow up, we get indoctrinated into a way of being typically based on the way our parents are they're the people we obviously spend the most time with and that loving little ball of joy gets, uh, I don't know what the word would be, let's call it damaged and wounded as we grow up and get older so we kinda go away from that natural instinct of love and we get reprogrammed into coming from fear so we get that from our families, obviously we get that from the media, we get it from friends and peers, and unfortunately too many people in the world today are coming from a place of fear. You know, people always ask, well, what can I do to change the world? What can I do to make the world a better place? To me, the answer revolves around one word, and that is consciousness. As you raise your own consciousness, as you expand your consciousness, as you truly start coming from a place of love, as you get back to the true nature of who you are, everything will change, not only in your world on the inner, but also in the outer world around you. This to me is the solution on how we're going to quote-unquote heal the world. So that's it for today. Again, ponder that question, meditate on the question, are you coming from a place of love or fear? And if the answer is fear, we need to be talking. Okay, so let's stay in this conversation. What can you do to reprogram yourself back to your natural state of love? That's it for today. Focus on love. Be the love that you are. I'll talk to you soon.